true. <laughs> Welcome to Two Chicks and a Goat. I'm your host, Stacy. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe and hit the bell below. So that way when we have new content like this video, you'll be notified so you can watch, share with your friends, and watch my subscription go up. Woohoo! I think we're at 9,300 this week. Awesome! Thanks, everybody. So, if you've seen on the news and stuff, everybody's been talking about these, if you're into camping, these uh, gypsy moths. So we just came back from the pinery, and we knew about these gypsy moths. And they miss out a little bit of information. <laughs> so yes, they're chewing up all the freaking branches. And they are everywhere. And they drop from the trees like freaking rain. So when we got there, eh, it wasn't too bad. There was a bunch of them around. There was probably 50 or 60 all over the place. Uh, and yeah, the wind was just blowing around like freaking rain. So, but we, we just figured we had their canopy and a little dining tent, no big deal. They wouldn't bother us. Uh, once we got all set up, that's when you noticed it. The rain. It sounds like if you're used to your trailer, you can hear it. Like clink, 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 whenever it rains in your trailer. So we got all set up and we had everything out and we keep hearing this noise and we're like, what the frick is that? So we start looking around and it is raining little tiny particles everywhere. But it's beautiful, nice and sunny and all this stuff. So you realize uh, this isn't usual for camping. So the new people who have been to camping, that's not normal. This is those stupid little bugs. They're eating so much, they're just destroying the trees. But it happens once every seven years. So they're getting their little strength up to become moths and cocoon and stuff. But of course, what happens when you eat? You poo. So they are pooing so much. I'm trying to use nice words because it should just be like they're shitting their brains out. But yeah, they are pooing so much. It is raining poo. And it is ridiculous how much is coming down. Like you can just look at my awning. This is from one day. So literally what we made sure to do is because the caterpillars weren't bugging us at all is that we all of our food we just kept under the awning because unless you wanted crunchies and when you're sitting out by the fire i wore my cowboy hat you know keep them out of my hair and if you sat like this well <laughs> when you're drinking the corner so that way it wouldn't get filled with poo a little protein what is funny is that we saw a lot of new campers out there no canopies, no nothing. And we're just going, I wonder if these people know it's poo <laughs> that is falling from the sky. So we, we were just like, so I wonder if they're going to the ranger and going, excuse me, ranger, um, what's all this sh shit falling from the trees? And the ranger's like, exactly, sir. And they're, and they're like, no, no, like, what is all this shit falling from the tree? And the ranger's like, yes, exactly. But <laughs> it's hilarious. We're sitting there looking around going, how many of these people around us have no clue that all this falling is poo? And it wasn't a big deal. We didn't care. We went on our boat. We had some amazing trip, uh, bike rides, hiking through the woods. And these little guys, you found them everywhere. You looked at the tire of the trailer. There was 50 around there. Picnic table. Clear. And you just shoot them all off. Our dining tent probably had 200 all over uh, them. And they were just trying to get to the trees and eat. But, of course, the wind would blow them everywhere. So it, it didn't really bother us until Saturday night. Big rainstorm. Rain and dry poo turns into caterpillar diarrhea. And I am telling you, you can look at these pictures. Our trailer was dripping brown poo everywhere. So we just packed up and left. It was our canopies, because we have a hybrid trailer, were covered in poo. Our awning was dripping brown poo. Uh, luckily, we put our dining tent in the night before. The pickup truck had three inches of water in it, filled with poo, because the poo clogged all the drain holes. So we had to drain that. Our bikes were covered. Everything was covered. And then we actually had to walk out and pack. So literally was stepping in an inch and a half of slippery, slimy, caterpillar poo. So honestly, <laughs> if we had another trip booked in the next month, because these things are only supposed to last, we would be canceling it. Just for the fact is we came home, 
brought the trailer to a power wash station, spent two hours just to power wash the outside of the trailer so it was no longer brown streaks all over it. The roof, as you can see in this image here, we couldn't even get to. Um, the next day, I had to wait for it to be a little bit nice out. We opened up the bunk ends again. We have three of them, and they were covered in streaks of poo. And it took us, probably me, about a few hours to get those scrubbed down and cleaned. Um, our mat that we usually keep out, had to hose that down. Our steps, our gear, everything we brought was covered in caterpillar poo. My pickup truck has gone through the wash three times and one power wash system just to get the caterpillar poo. poo yes, I know. And it's caca. That's what it is. It's caca from all over our gear and truck. So what you hear on the news is the caterpillars are raining from the sky. Yes, they're not telling you. It's also poo. The poo is raining from everywhere. <laughs> so if you're camping, beware of the caterpillars. If it's gonna be dry out, it's no big deal. The little pellets fall from everywhere and we literally would dump our awning and they would all pour off. But it's the moisture. When we got wet, that just made it a horrible experience. Everything was destroyed. Um, like it, it took us for everything to get this this stuff clean. Now, if we didn't have a hybrid, I probably wouldn't be so concerned. But as you know, people with hybrids they close up, and all that just gets smushed into your trailer. Um, so it was a mess to clean. Ugh. Damn caterpillars. We've already noticed, well, we've already put in our calendars. 2028 is the next time these things are supposed to be this freaking bad. We are not camping. 2028, no camping. Because we are not going to deal with a caterpillar pool. But we lucked out. We were in the pinery. Supposedly they sprayed around the outskirts of the pinery. So the caterpillars weren't that bad. Um, like I said, our tent would say uh, uh, 50 to 100 on them. Constantly, you had your broom sweeping off your mat, but we heard people north of us who the entire ground was moving. And that's how many caterpillars they had. So if they had that many caterpillars, how much poo was falling from the sky? Ugh, a whole conversation about caterpillar poo. Who knew? I don't know. But hopefully <laughs> this helps you decide if you really want to go camping. Honestly, if we had a tent, and the dining tent was still out, it would have been left there because there's no way I even want to bother packing it up. Luckily, our friends who were with us left the night before, before the rain. So they just had to dump all the pellets off their tents and stuff, fold it all up and go. But that rainstorm, we, we expected, honestly, we we're like, oh, look, great, massive rainstorm. Like it was a nasty rainstorm. We woke up in the middle of the night and went, oh, cool, it's going to wash all this off. And we can, you know, we'll, we'll have a good day in the next morning. Yeah, no. Yeah. Caterpillar diarrhea, not fun to deal with. Any diarrhea, it's not fun to deal with. <laughs> so, sorry, my whole report this week and video is based on caterpillar poo. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, the gypsy moth or gypsy caterpillar moth, really cool looking little guy. Uh, we've seen them everywhere, uh, some of them 100 miles an hour. Uh, so they were zooming around. We actually went out and found some cocoons. Sorry, I didn't get any pictures of it because honestly, we were out hiking through the woods. Didn't even think of it. Um, but yeah, they cocoon into a black nest and then they turn into these moths. So I'm curious to see how many moths are going to spread all over the place. And also, I'm curious to see in the next month or so with my trailer, how many we find hiding in there. Because just from unloading it uh, this week, we had to go send it to get repairs. Uh, not because of the poo, um, but we're getting a whole new bunk end put on it. And uh, so we can have all three bunks again. We had some issues, but that's a whole nother story. So when it comes back, I can guarantee you we're going to be like opening up and find some caterpillars. Because when we were emptying it out, we found four uh, that were hiding in its little spots. But um, so I hope this is helpful. If you're at a campsite in the next three weeks, I think they're still supposed to. And they're everywhere, from what I was told. Far, far north, they're not as many. It sort of sa sounds like in the middle. But we were in the pinery. It was okay. Like I said, I'd watch the weather. If it was dry, I, I, we wouldn't have had an issue. Uh, the rain, it was just horrifying. Um, but here, I'll put up pictures again in some of ours of our little trip.
But the next video, I'll actually probably put together a whole video of our little camping trip so you can see our little adventure and the fun we had uh, and some of the friends that came with us. But it was a great spot. It's first time in the Pinery. It's actually really good. So when the poo's all gone, we'll probably go back. So hopefully this video is helpful to make your decision. See you on the road. Thank <laughs> you.